Alright, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be playing Mega Man, going straight back to my childhood. Um, I just remember playing all the Mega Man games. Uh, I had, let's see, what back in the day all I had was Mega Man 2 on NES. And then after that I didn't play any Mega Man until up to Mega Man X4 and Mega Man X5 on PlayStation 1. And those were the Mega Mans that basically defined my meaning of Mega Man. Uh, I had to have beaten those games 10, 20 times, uh, just over and over again. I absolutely love those games. Um, then after that, I got Mega Man 8, which was a great game, um, and kind of showed me what the, the original Mega Man was before uh, you know X started getting involved and uh, Zero got into it. Um, and then after that, I finally got the Mega Man Anniversary Collection on PS2, and that's when I got to go back and play all the original Mega Mans. Um, Mega Mans? Mega Men? I don't, I don't really know how to, how to say that, but anyways. Uh, I got to play all the original games, um, got a new appreciation for actually just the games in general. Um, all the old bosses, all the old stuff, uh, there's a lot of cool, like, um, extra features on the anniversary collection, but uh, really for me it was just a way to play all the originals and see where all these new Mega Man games came from. Uh, now they're starting to get ridiculous with like the DS games and and all the crazy new adaptations, especially Mega Man Legends, which I had as a kid as well, and uh, that game was awesome, but really had nothing to do with the Mega Man universe other than just having Mega Man in it. But anyways, for these series of videos, I'm going to be playing the original Mega Man games, uh, trying my hardest to beat them. I remember going back and trying to beat these multiple times, and uh, they are just the kings of hard motherfucking games. I mean, if you can beat one of the original Mega Man games in the way that it was supposed to be originally played, I mean, that that's just a huge feat. That's something you can brag about for a long time. So we're going to see how I can do. Uh, I'm going to be playing... Uh, probably all of them on the anniversary collection, even though I do have two still on the NES. Uh, I think if if you if I can beat the majority of them on the anniversary collection, I think I get some cool bonus features and stuff. Um, first of all, the music on the beginning screen is one of the best renditions of the Mega Man theme I've ever heard. But anyways, I just love the way they put this together. I mean, basically, you start off as Mega Man and you kind of walk up to these doors just like, you know, a regular Mega Man game would look. And, uh, you know, you walk past, here's Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then these are all the, the secret games. Um, it's just a really, they did a really good job putting together this anniversary collection. Uh, anyways, here we go. Mega Man 1. Also, the loading screens, I mean, they're kind of like, uh, they're loading, they show all the different kind of Mega Man uh, characters and how they aged throughout the games. So, I mean, just, I, I have to give them props for this, this collection. I think I bought this collection for like 15 bucks, and it has all the Mega Man games. I mean, that is, without a doubt, worth it. Here we go, classic Mega Man. Look at this. I mean... I figured for the first Mega Man game, they would have, you know, a lot of options for the robots because, you know, in the later games, they have to start getting, like, you know, creative with their names because they can't use any names that have already been used. So, you know, you look at these and, like, they're just, you know, classic Iceman, Fireman, Bombman, Electman, Cutman, Gutsman. I mean, that's just as classic as it gets. Although, Gutsman, I always kind of got confused on why they would name him Guts Man. Like, what, shouldn't he be like Strength Man? I mean, that sounds dumb, but, you know, like, I don't know, uh, Fitness Man or Strong Man. Strong Man would, would be probably better. I don't know why Guts have anything to do with it. Um, Alright, we're gonna go with Cut Man. Alright. That was kind of weird how I started, like, halfway on a block. Is that weird to anyone else? 
Oh man, just just the music brings me back into the mood of Mega Man. I just, without a doubt, I think Mega Man. You know, I said without a doubt. Now I said I think. Yeah, I sound good. Um, the only reason I said I think is because Final Fantasy gives it a run for its money, but. Mega Man has some of the best music of any game, you know, and every stage is good, you know, I never went to a stage and was like, I hate this song, you know, every stage had its own, um, unique song, what the hell, can we get on this ladder, um, each stage had its own unique song, and it, it got you in the mood for that stage right when you started, um, I don't know, just the music with, with Mega Man has always been, uh, kind of a, a cool thing for me. I like going back and, and listening to it. My all-time favorite uh, song in Mega Man is the the stage theme, or uh, not the stage theme, the the main theme, uh, the theme that plays at the the startup screen of Mega Man 2. That song is bitching. Oh, I'm getting my ass handed to me right now. Oh look, 4,800 points. are hard as fuck to dodge. Alright, there we go. <gasps> now I will say, Mega Man has really good control. It always has. But I feel like this first game, the control was kind of shitty. Like, I I'm having kind of a hard time like getting up ladders and trying to get over, you know, what looks like a really easy jump ends up being difficult. What the... Holy shit. This level is just like chaos. It's a whole bunch of things that like cut you. And these weird things. You're probably gonna hear me hum like all the songs because I can't help myself. I guess now's a good time to uh, tell everybody as well that, you know, lately I've been doing a lot of retro stuff, which is great. Um, and I, I don't, I know that, like, not everyone likes ret watching retro stuff. Um, but I did ask people, like, to give me their opinions on what I should play. And I really didn't get very many people who gave me advice. And so I've just been playing the stuff that I liked. You know, Mega Man was pretty much the number one retro game I played uh, up until Final Fantasy. Um, so, you know, I'm just kind of playing what I enjoyed. I had a Crash Bash video because Crash Bash I loved as a kid. Um, and then, like, some weird games that I had in my childhood, like that Tom and Jerry game. I, I don't know if anyone else ever owned that game, but uh, I, th I wanted to show you guys that game. Because it was a weird, weird game that would probably make some people go like, What the hell? Why was this ever even made? Um, but if anyone has any games that they want me to play, now that I'm, you know, in my retro mood, playing a lot of retro stuff, um, you should really let me know, because I will definitely play it. I think, uh, ah, damn it. I think, uh, Joey told him. I can't remember. I feel bad, because he's probably going to be like, What the hell are you talking about? But I think it was Joey that said he wanted me to play Pokemon Stadium. I might be completely wrong, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to play, I'm gonna have to bring that out, because Pokemon Stadium was pretty epic, uh, that, that was, I mean, that was one of the only retro games that, like, I played with my stepbro, like, we would play that game back when we were in, in Pokemon, we would play that for hours against each other, you know, trying to figure out the best team, you know, a lot of these retro games, it was more like taking turns playing, you know, when it was my turn for the NES, I'd be playing Mega Man. You no, know, that'd be his turn to play, he'd be playing Sonic or something, but, you know, there weren't as many, like, two-player games as I, as I liked. There probably was a lot, I just didn't own them. The only really, like, two-player games I had were sports games, and I didn't really like sports games that much. Uh, with the exception of ice hockey, because that's the best game ever made. See, how many lives do I have? One life. Damn it. Okay, if you pause on a ladder, it, like, makes you let go of the ladder. You, like, when you unpause, you, like, appear again. 
instead of actually pausing the game, it's like you disappear and reappear. Ooh! That was weird. I wonder if the PS2 version kind of cheats. In fact, I know it does. Because, uh, it has a turbo. Like, this right here, this is triangle. And this is square. And I think, uh, obviously on the NES controller, all you'd have is jump and shoot. So you wouldn't have that, that... Uh, turbo shot, unless you had a turbo controller. So it's not really cheating, because if you had a turbo controller, then, you know, you're obviously allowed to use it. Um, I think some people tell me that turbo controllers are cheating, and other people that say, like, if you own it, then it's not cheating. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't think it's cheating, really. I mean, it, it, it just makes it a little bit nicer, so you don't have to hurt your fingers trying to tap the button really fast. Boss time. Wonder if I can. Why would they put enemies in the little boss thing? It's a dick move. Unless they're gonna give me life, which they're not. Alright, well, I think Cutman's weakness is Gutsman because those those blocks sitting there, and Gutsman ability lets you throw blocks. I got my ass kicked. Alright. For real this time. Ah, damn it. Why do they put those there? There we go. Alright, cut man, you're going down. Yeah, how do you like that? Ow. Biatch! The other nice thing is that I can save. And, you know, I, I don't think that's cheating either. I think it's just a lot uh, more convenient. Because um, there were password systems. Starting with Mega Man 2, there was a password system. Mega Man 1 is the only one that didn't have a password and didn't have uh, saving. If I, th I think that's right. I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure Mega Man 1 didn't have either. I know that Mega Man 2 has a password system. Because um, that's the only one I owned as a kid.